It is Canadian Music Week in Toronto. Robbie Robertson will get this year's Lifetime Achievement Award. Now, after a rocky decade, the industry has something else to celebrate. Last year, global music sales exceeded $25 billion Canadian, slowly bouncing back to the earnings back in 2007. That's before online streaming became popular. But almost half of last year's earnings came from streaming revenue. That's the good news. The bad news is the bulk of streaming royalties go to record labels and superstar performers like Ariana Grande and Drake. While the people who write the songs, well, they're largely shut out. But as Deanna Sumanag Johnson tells us, there's a move to change that. Linda Perry knows the power of a song from her own. To the hits she wrote for others like Christina Aguilera. You are beautiful, no matter what they say. So Perry started her own label, focused on artists who write their own music. We nurture and develop our artists. We put time into them. We help them make good decisions. I'd like to bring Also creating buzz at Canadian Music Week, Canadian-born Merck Mercuriatis, manager to funk legend Nile Rogers, who's also worked with big names like Elton John and Guns N' Roses. Nile and I didn't believe that the songwriter was being recognized properly in today's era. He thinks the answer is raising the stock of songwriters, literally. Proven hit songs are predictable and reliable, and therefore as investable as gold or oil. Mercuriatus's Hypnosis Song Fund is like a stock fund of songs. It's actually listed on the London Stock Exchange. They buy the rights to the music and lyrics of songs from songwriters at a high price. That's the benefit to songwriters in the short term. Get this, $23 million for the song catalogue of Terrius Nash, known as The Dream, the man behind mega hits like Rihanna's Umbrella and Justin Bieber's Baby. Then the fund manages these songs to make money for not only the investors, but in the long term for musicians too. And we can say to the streaming services, well, if you want our stuff, this is a fair price. This is what we believe fair market value is. Dave Stewart from the Eurythmics thinks there's another way to help fellow songwriters by making the public aware of just how much they do. Without a song, you've got nothing. Stewart's created a talent show for NBC where it's the songwriting chops, not big vocals, that are on display. You don't know where it's coming from? Man, you know it when you hear it. What I'd like for the TV audience to get is, oh, people write songs. And it's not 10 people trying to write a hi-hat pattern and a hit or whatever. It's actually, this person just came out and sang a song. And she actually wrote that and played it and sang it. Sweet dreams are made of these. All of this to help the next generation of songwriters realize their sweet dreams. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.